intelligent folk it's safe and smoke. Well, I can save a few wob and have cancer now. Good morrow, me old scrotums, and welcome to another drawing tutorial. Now this time I'm going to be drawing everybody's least favourite fat bastard, Baxter Price. Whilst the camera follows my every move, I seriously don't know how it's doing this. But anyway, I suppose it's convenient. Marking the skeleton. Cheese will put his hand behind his back because that's one tutorial I'm not going to do because I'm crap at drawing hands. One big potato flower sack like body. I apologise if anyone's getting motion sickness from this. Keep everything loose and flowing when you're drawing thing is to be quick well when you're drawing in pencil you can be you can make mistakes you can just rub them out add his chin it's basically just half a circle underneath where his skull is. Remember to get all the basic shapes first and then do the clothes. So you can do them quite form fitting. Just looks better that way. Big expressive eyebrows. His eyes are quite large, like the rest of him. Bulbousy nose. I'm to get all the facial features in first and then do the hair. Arms and legs are quite difficult to do if you haven't practiced them like me. It's quite difficult to know where to place them, but if you know your character and their personality, then it's just a little bit easier. Now oh, you can start adding in their clothes once you've got, you've got the basic shape. Do some creases here because he's not exactly the thinnest character. He denies that he's fat, of course. It's just muscle is what it is. Pure muscle. Yeah, he's got a very big muscle in his stomach. Baxter just does smoke, but not as much as his brother, which I might save for next time. Add the clothes around the form. Make him a bit rounder as needs be. to his hair. Start from the middle and work your way out. Little sideboards there. Top hats are quite difficult to do but here's my little tip. Start from the ear, curve it,
and slightly curved. These, I don't really do these straight. I just, yeah, got to curve them out. Makes it a bit more 3D. Give him a bit of a grin there, I think. He knows what he's thinking. And it ain't good. Make the trousers a bit baggy. Around the cuffs. Shade in the shoes. He wears spats, the lucky bastard. He doesn't deserve them. I want some spats. Now, the reason I created Baxter is because, while there are many villains around in fiction, hardly any of them are the main character. We've got anti-heroes and such, and I think, you know, there are a few, you know, comics and cartoons that have villains as the main character, but there's not nearly enough of them, you know? And as I've got a metaphorical hard-on for villains, I decided to make one the main character. Baxter is basically just a delusional, fat guy who thinks he's posh. He's from Yorkshire. But he puts on a posh accent. Just to throw people off. Baxter's got it in for everyone and everybody's got it in for him. They all want him dead or well, at least out of their lives. Get his pinstripes in. Make the stripes go like where the creases are. Make the stripes creased as well. Gives it a sense of form. Don't just draw them straight because that kind of makes it look flat unless you want to go for that retro look. But I'm emphasising the fact that he's a fat bar steward. Now not only is Baxter one of my favourite characters to draw but he's also fun to write for because he gets to see all these long winded insults and he's always pissed off all the time. He basically says all the stuff that I want to say in real life, but I can't because I'm just a wuss. Big thick old eyebrows. Baxter pretty much only has two expressions. Villainously smug and very, very, very pissed off. There's no in-betweens, he's very extreme, it's either one or the other with him. No black and white, or even white, it's just pure black. Because he makes a big deal out of being a villain and everyone's just like, oh for God's sake, get a grip, man. But like any delusional villain, he won't listen to anyone apart from himself. Gonna try and get a, draw another face from scratch. Try and capture him in another moment of villainous smugness. Wearing a bandit mask. I don't know why he's never worn one before, but... Hey, they're cool, all right. He's going out robbing a bank. He's got to wear a bandit mask. You're not a proper villain unless you're wearing a top hat. It's like a lore or something. Andrew, I blame you for my bandit mask fetish. It's all your fault. It's not necessarily a bad thing, though. And that, me old Yorkshire puddings is how we draw Baxter Price.
The delusional Yorkshireman. Delusional villainous Yorkshireman.